Good evening, dear teachers and my dear students. Welcome to 9th Standard Social Science. Today I am presenting Geography, the second lesson. Already you have learned the Geography first lesson. Now I am presenting the second lesson in Geography, Physiographic Divisions of Karnataka. In this chapter, you study about the physical divisions of Karnataka. Dear students, let us know about physiographic divisions of Karnataka. You have already studied the origin of the word Karnataka and the other features like latitude and longitude about Karnataka. Karnataka is a part of Peninsular India. It is situated in southwestern part of India and has diverse physical features. You have coastal regions, you have Maidan regions and also the western Ghats, that is Malanadu region. In this lesson, we need to know all those different features of Karnataka, that is relief features of Karnataka. Karnataka is one of the beautiful states of India. It has variety of relief features and it is known for its own scenic beauty, undulating photography, whereas the northern Karnataka has a very vast plain and it is also having many number of waterfalls and reserve forests. So, let us know about the physiographic divisions of our state Karnataka. Since it is known for beautiful scenery and many number of fishing ports and ports, it is attracting businessmen and tourists across the world. There is a great contrast between the coastal areas and even Malanadu region that also you study here. Dear students, this Karnataka has many valleys and gorges even. The land of Karnataka slightly slopes towards the east and steeply, you know, it continues towards the west. The land table of Karnataka slopes towards the east. Therefore, most of the rivers which originate in the western side of Western Ghat, you know, some of them, you know, they flow towards the east. It may be river Kaveri, it even Krishna and many other tributaries of it. There is traversed by, this is traversed by many ridges with valleys and gorges. That is also, you know, one of the important features here. Karnataka state has been divided into four divisions for the administrative convenience. Bengaluru, Mysuru, Belagavi and Kalburgi are the four administrative divisions of Karnataka. To understand the physical divisions, we can study Karnataka in three different parts. That is the coastal plain of Karnataka, the Malanadu region and the Maidan region. In Maidan region, we will have two different parts, Northern Maidan region and Southern Maidan region. Totally, there are three major physical divisions of our Karnataka. Let us learn one by one. This lesson is very simple and small to understand. First of all, let us know about the coastal plain. Dear students, the coastal line extends to about 320 kilometers right from Mangaluru in the south and Karwar in the north. About 320 kilometers of lengthy coastal line we have. We have many number of beaches, we have fishing ports and major ports here. Okay, all these are very important points so that you study here in this topic. The coastal plains width is from 12 kilometer to 64 kilometer. In some areas, the width of the coastal plain is just 12 kilometer, but in some other area, it extends up to 64 kilometer. 
This coastal plain of Karnataka is called by two different names. One is Kenara coast, other one is coast of Karnataka or Karnataka coastal line. Karnataka coastal plains have many rivers. Many rivers which originate in the western side of Western Ghat flow towards west and join Arabian Sea. It may be Netravati, it may be Kali, Sharavati. So all these rivers flow towards west and join Arabian Sea. These rivers, you know, join Arabian Sea. Now let us know about major ports. There are many ports here. Okay. Among these ports, New Mangaluru port is the major port of our Karnataka. These students, I am locating Mangaluru in this Karnataka map. So that is Mangaluru. Now let us go to fishing ports. Our coastal plain has many fishing ports, namely Batkala, Malpe, Karwar, Kumta, Belekeri, and Honnavara. You need to learn all this because pick the odd one out. Such questions may be asked in these. Okay. So Batkala, Malpe, Karwar, Kumta, Belekeri, and Honnavara. They are the fishing ports of our coastal plain of Karnataka. Let us know about beaches. The prominent beaches are Panamburu Beach, Ullal, Someshwara, and you know all these are near Mangaluru. These are the prominent beaches that we have. In addition to that, we have some other beaches, Malpe near Udupi, Karwar in North, Murdeshwara near Honnavara, and Mar Mar Maravante and Om Beach in Gokarna. These are all the important beaches of our coastal plain. There are certain islands as well. Which are those islands? There are some small islands located almost nearer to the sea coast within 5 to 10, 15 kilometers, right? For example, St. Mary's Island, which is also called Coconut Island near Malpe, Anja near Karwar, Anja Island near Karwar, Devagad and Kanji Gudda Islands, all these are the islands nearer to the coastal line of Karnataka. Dear students, so far we have learned about coastal plain of Karnataka. Now let us learn about Malnad region. What is Malnad region? Malnad region is nothing but the area of Western Ghat. The western side and the eastern side of the Western Ghats put together we say Malnad region. It is also called Sahyadri. It actually starts from the river Tapi and continues up to the south southernmost tip of Karnataka that is you know uh, the southern tip of peninsular plateau and uh, it meets eastern Ghat at Nilgiris right still it continues further down they are called by different names say for example Sahyadri right and uh, uh, Nilgiris right and uh, Ka, you know uh, Cardamom Hills so these are all the different names for that right so in Karnataka, we call them, we call the Western Ghat as Sahyadri. Now let us continue. See here, dear students, at the downward arrow mark is showing the area of Malnad region. Malnad runs parallel to the coastal plain of Karnataka, right from north to south, it is parallel to the coastal line. So and they have steep terraces like slopes in the west as well as even gentle slopes to the east. So this is what I am showing you, the Malnad region. In this Malnad region, the main feature is Western Ghat. They have steep terraces like slopes in the west and gentle slopes to the east. Hence they are called Ghats. So these Ghats help us to move from one part of the Malnad region to the other part. So which are those Ghats? that I show you now. Before that, let us see the length of this Malnad area. This uh, Western Ghat is almost about 650 kilometers in length, 50 to 76 kilometers in width. And the height of these ranges or mountains in Malnad, it ranges from 900 to 1500 meters from sea level. Let us see about 
the other features. These range of mountains obstruct the rain bearing winds, particularly the southwest monsoon winds, which blow from, you know, almost Arabian Sea and even from Indian Ocean, and they are prevented and cause ra rainfall. And we receive up to 500 and above, even up to 500 uh, centimeters of rainfall we receive. In some, in most of the areas, we receive 200, up to 200 centimeters of rainfall. Here, Agumbe receives, Agumbe and even Hulikal receives up to 500 centimeters of rainfall. Dear students, I told you there are steep gorge, you know, there are many gorges, valleys, okay, and even uh, mountain passes. They are called guards. Mountain passes are called guards. And these guards are helping people to move from the western side of uh, Western Ghat to the eastern side or vice versa. For example, Charmadi Ghat, Shiradi Ghat, Agumbe Ghat, Hulikal Ghat, these are all the various Ghats we have. Charmadi Ghats links Mangaluru to Chikmagaluru, ha Shiradi Ghat from Hasan, Sakleshpur and Mangaluru, Agumbe Ghat, Shumaga, Udupi, likewise Hulikal Ghat, it links Shumaga and Kundapura. So all these are the important Ghats which are uh, attracting the tourists as well as uh, it provides good transportation and it attracts people right and it helps people to move from one place to another. Dear students, in this Mallad region we have many waterfalls. Among them the important one and world famous is Jok Falls. River Sharavati flows here and it is the highest waterfall of India. The other prominent waterfalls are Unchalli waterfalls, Magodu, see Unchalli and Magodu are in Uttar Kannada and Gokak Falls, it is in Belagavi, Shivana Samudra, it is in Mandya district and Abbe Falls, it is in Kodagu. So all these are the important waterfalls, right? Here, Unchalli, Magodu, uh, they are in Uttar Kannada, Gokak is in Belagavi, but here, Shivamagga's uh, Jok Falls, it comes under Malanad region and this is the highest waterfall of India. Let us know about Chikkamagaluru in this Malanad region. Coffee is grown widely in Chikkamagaluru, therefore it is called land of coffee. Kodagu district is known as the Kashmir of Karnataka because of its cool weather and beautiful scenery as well. In this Malnad region, you have many highest peaks, namely Mullayanagiri, Kudremukha, Kallatgiri, Rudragiri, and Devi Ramanagudda. All these are the highest peaks that we have in Malanadu region. Among these, Mullayanagiri is having 1930 meters height from the sea level, and it is the highest peak in our state, Karnataka. Dear students, I am showing you your textbook picture here in the uh, right side of the, uh, the, the corner. The Northern Maidan. Northern Ma now I am taking you to the, the third division of Karnataka, the third relief feature that is the Maidan region. In Maidan, re Maidan region, there are two types, Northern Maidan region and Southern Maidan region. Northern Maidan region is a vast plain with black soil and is an extensive plateau. It's a very vast plain. I'm showing you the downward arrow. You can understand. It is around 365 to 610 meters above the sea level. Many hills and hillocks are seen in this northern Maidan region. Dear students, now, dear students, among the hills found in northern Maidan, Prominent are Nargund Hills, Parasagada Gudda, Gurmitkal Gudda, Ilkal, Ilkal Gudda. These are all the famous important hills of Northern Maidan region. Likewise, in Northern Maidan, we have many waterfalls and uh, they attract tourists all over. Areas to the east of Saudati and Badami, they have miles, you know, limestone with faulting. It has produced rugged land farms. 
The most important waterfall of this region is Gokak Waterfalls in Belagavi district. In this northern Maidan, you find highest temperature in summer. That's why it is called land of sunshine. Many crops like jowar, bajra, groundnut, cotton, pulses are grown in this northern Maidan region. This is a sufficient this is sufficient information about northern Maidan. Now we are in southern Maidan region. Dear students, southern Maidan region is known for photography and it has very beautiful scenery, right? Forests, waterfalls, right? Let us learn about it. This southern Maidan region extends from Tungabhadra River in the north up to Chamana, Chamarajanagar district in the south. The southern Maidan is a plateau with abundant red soil. Northern Maidan region is known for black soil. Southern Maidan region is known for red soil. And this land is uneven. There are many ups and downs. And it is having height of from uh, 900 meters to 975 meters from the sea level. Among the hills we find in the southern Maidan, Chitradurga Hills, Narayana Durga Hills, Shravana, uh, Savana Durga Hills, Madhugri Hills are important one. The, the picture which is shown here is Madhugiri Hills and it's a monolith hill, single rock it is. It is the biggest in Asia itself. Likewise, there are other hills found in the southern Maidan, namely Nandi Hills, Chennakeshwa Hills, Kavale Durga Hills, Skandagiri Hills. These are all the hills found in Chikkabalapura district. Likewise, we have Adi Chinchanagiri Hills, Biligiri Rangana Hills, Malay Mahadeshwara Hills, Himada Gopala Swami Hills. These are all uh, the important you know, hills. Among these, Biligiri Rangana Hills, Malay Mahadeshwara and Gopala Swami Hills are found in Chamaraj Nagar district. Chamundi Hill is found in Mysore district. Here, Gopala Swami Hills, right? They are the Gopal Swami Hills and even uh, Malay Mahadeshwara Hills, they are all important one and they come in forest limits. Yes, students, all this information you need to know, learn well. Hope you have very well understood this lesson. The places which I have mentioned, everything you need to keep in mind, everything you need to learn. If possible, along with your parents, visit all these places. They are very beautiful uh, and have scenic beauty. Some of them are very adventurous. I know you, it, they are known for adventurous and trekking also. Hope you have understood this lesson. Keep watching SPS's uh, YouTube channel. Right? It, uh, it will help you to understand the lessons better. I wish you all the best. Thank you, dear teachers. Thank you, dear students.